Welcome back to California Live. Philip Winchester is most recently known as playing Peter Stone on one of the greatest shows out, Law & Order SVU. But now he's starring in an action-packed film that he says he actually had no idea was written for him. Check it out. He's torn to pieces. A lion got him. Some lions go rogue. <laughs> she likes to kill. How do you know it's a she? The females are the true killers. All right, well, this film definitely has a lot of action if you're looking for it. Philip, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you doing? Uh, we're, we're all, we're, everyone's doing... Holding, holding on, right? Yeah, everyone is holding on, just <laughs> trying to hang in there. Um, okay, so let's talk about your character, Joey Kosinski in Rogue. I hear that this role was actually written specifically for you. It was. It's, um, it's, it's kind of funny, though. I, it was written for me, but that was never really clearly explained to me by my friend MJ Bassett, oh. who, wrote the, who wrote the script with her daughter, Izzy. Um, we kept having these conversations, and she was like, yeah, you know, I'm going to Africa. I'm going to do this movie. Did, did you like the script? And I was like, yeah, it was great. Did, were there any characters you liked? I said, yeah, yeah, Joey's really great. I, I kind of feel, you know, I feel close to that. And she was like, uh-huh. Anything else? And I was like, so? <laughs> yeah, what do you want me to say? Like, it's great. I'd love to do it. And finally she goes, you know, I wrote this for you. And I was like, oh, cool. Oh, like you want me to do, let's like, go. Let's, what are we waiting for? <laughs> like, so it was, a, there was a lot of crosstalk happening. And finally I, finally I picked up on it. Tell me a little bit about Joey. He is a soldier, um, a lot of action. I mean, how much training went into becoming this character? Well, so MJ and I have a big history. We did Strike Back together, which was a big action series on Cinemax. I did a film with her called Solomon Kane. Uh, and when you work with MJ, it's basically, a, it's a butt kicking in a can. I, you're just gonna get it handed to you no matter what. So I knew that going into it. And so my training sort of stays up there because if I'm gonna work with MJ, you just have to kind of prepare for anything. Um, so I, yeah. I got ready for it, got there. And then it was, a four, it was four weeks of night shoots in the middle of the bush in Africa, which was, magical it sounds kind of crazy but it was magical because the bugs that would come out at night that we would see and the you know i mean literally the honey badgers and the hyenas and the, the critters that were coming out why we well, it's were a different filming. world it's a different world yeah and we were in the bush what was that like yeah what was it like shooting in south africa i mean that had to have been just so surreal it was and it's different from la or any bit. other city yeah, here it's in the not, US. It's just a not little a bit a tad. right <laughs> Yeah. Look, it's, you know, I mean, this is, these are the perks of what we do. Sometimes you get these jobs where that's the, that's the truth, right? You, you get a travel, yeah. you get to meet amazing people who, where this is their normal and you get, if you're lucky enough, you get invited into their world and their life. And that was one of these jobs, you know, that was this job. It was great. Yeah. And how was it working with Megan Fox? It was wonderful. She really <laughs> stepped in. I mean, this is not easy stuff. Like I said, I mean, the training yeah. involved and the physicality involved. And there are days where you'd lay down in bed and just go, you're just vibrating. You were so tired from your day. Um, and she had to have been a tough cookie, though, because she's your leader. She's the lead. So. Yeah. And she was on set yeah. every single day. And that's what's great about this film. It's a strong female lead. Megan Fox comes in, leads this team of operators into the bush to do a snatch and grab that goes wrong, of course. And then one yeah. by one, they start getting picked off by something. And it turns out to be mm -hmm. a rogue lion. So another strong female who's kicking some ass, too. Yeah. <laughs> So good female empowerment yeah, there. Yeah, right on. <laughs> so I hear you're an amazing dad. Uh, uh, you've been building a tree house. Yes, for girls. this has been, well, you know what it's like when you're creative and that just completely dries up, which it has for all of us. Um, I had to have some kind of an outlet and my daughter kept saying, you know, I want, let's do a fort, let's do something. And we don't have any trees that are big enough for a tree house, but we have, yeah. we had this fence around our property. And so I built a, I built a tree house in the corner of the fence. We call it the, the fence fort. And so that's taken up a lot more time than it should have. But because it's a creative endeavor, I was able to be really picky with it, which was fun. Okay. I'm going to have to see your blueprints and your design yeah, that's for this. Right. Because my son's been asking for a tree house oh, and well, forts, hey, and we have no trees. I'll send so, some pictures. <laughs> like, we just have the fence. fence. Yeah, it's great. It's great. Yes, for sure. Oh, that's so exciting. It's going to be so amazing. Thank you so much. And you can catch Rogue. It is out now. Thanks, Philip. Thank you for your time.